ever had a situation where you stashed up something for a long time and found it after so many years well that's what happened to me namaste and welcome this is lifestyle which is versatile thank you for stopping by thank you for always being here on this channel and if you're yet to subscribe please do okay because this channel is where i get to share about everything that concerns uh, me as a single parent and my journey as a single parent i also cover um sights and sounds you know that i find interesting i also do we're coming into book reviews if you've been following the vlogs i'm sure you found it interesting picked a tip or two okay all right okay so first of all in case you don't know whenever you see this chair know that we're here to chat okay nothing serious um yeah it's serious anyways but we're here to talk serious talk okay but not um delve into single parenting issues so that you know it all right so we're here to just we're here to chat you in i all right okay so um i got reviews and i that's actually what a creator um if you're a creative person that's whatever you find yourself doing so um i did uh ask around from some of my friends who've been following this channel and just to be sure that I'm getting at my audience properly and also I am being um, on, on point because of the various trainings I carry out at the uh, Creators Academy on YouTube. I want to ensure that I'm doing some certain things right as we're being taught at the Creators Academy. Okay, so I got some feedback from some of my friends and I totally appreciate all of your feedback as they come. So um, part of the feedback I did get which really um, got me to want to talk about this right now is the fact that a friend of mine, I appreciate you so much, he's actually my accountability partner. Chixi, peace, I love you. Okay, so Chixi says to me that um, some of my posts, particularly the ones with the single parenting titles, have um, had me being all advocates, had me had me being all, oh, we gotta get this freedom, you know, like a freedom rights preacher. Okay, so I really needed to address that. I also got a feedback from my friend Mevi, and Mevi says I was reacting to my topics okay so let me address this for any and everyone who does feel the same way um i am actually an advocate i'm a human rights advocate and then i specialize and um lend my voice to both the women children and youth rights okay as a global citizen with junior chamber international jci which is the organization i i work with um in carrying out a couple of um the active work, active citizenry work we do, um, I actually find myself doing a lot of community stuff. And that makes me an advocate, advocate for human life, well-being. Okay, so if I get all preachy, if you find me getting all preachy, all um, reacting, okay, to this single parenting issue, it's because it has impacted on my life, both negatively and positively. But I choose to stick to the positives. And I know the reason, one of the reasons I seem to be reacting to some of the topics when I do talk about them, I think is mostly the fact that it hurts me when I have to talk about it, knowing fully well that there are women, there are men who are going through these things freshly. As I'm speaking about it, there are people who are currently, currently in the situation. And it so hurts, you know, to think that you feel you're helpless. You feel like, oh, where would I go from here? Oh, my life is finished. So if i feel if i don't get to sound all oh you can do this and that and that and that <laughs> if i don't sound all like that probably they might not take it seriously so please apologies if you found it um offensive or you saw me being all that although no apologies but all the same apologies if you felt that way i'll try you know we get better every day right and we learn every day and i'm glad for these reviews i did get and i will keep getting reviews so um yeah thank you and yes i am passionate about what i do i am passionate about lending my voice i am passionate about giving back by sharing my experience and mostly what impacts me right now and what i'm experiencing currently is the situation of single parenting my own way it's peculiar to different people okay but for myself i've decided to use myself as an example to um sharing these challenges or sharing these experiences with you out there okay and then <clears throat> it does resonate with any and everyone 
one way or the other. The reason I say so, of course, we direct targets to single parents, but the reason I say it to almost everyone is because one way or the other, you know one single parent, and you want to learn to you want to learn how to be a lot more sensitive to these um, people when you come across them. Okay, so I thank you for listening. I thank you for just being here. Okay, so previous videos I did drop were vlogs. I've had a very interesting time with some of my friends and we have a lot more to bring to you, okay? But today I have decided that I really would like to talk to you about something. So I found some <clears throat> stash of stuff here. I, I found this and I said, oh no, this has to come through. Like I need to share it. Okay, so here in my hands, I've got some stash, which I found pretty much interesting, the, the part of my life <clears throat> from years back. So um, where do I start from? Okay. Okay. Can you see this? I believe you can, right? Uh -huh. <laughs> now, when this brown envelope gets to you, in my family anyways, then it's serious business. So I found these. This happens to be no money inside even if there was money i would have spent it long ago this is actually a letter from my father um can you see it yeah whenever my father sits down to talk to you oh it's an epistle and then when he decides to write you oh double epistle he should write the bible well this came in 2005 so you can imagine how long I've kept this. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. See? My dad is a writer. I really would love to read this letter to you, but maybe some other time. But I enjoyed the fact that he gave me about... Oh yeah. 13 points to ponder on. And I'm glad, um, having read through them, I, I'm glad that's... I turned out okay. I'm happy. I'm grateful. I'm sure I also made him proud. Yes, he's still alive, okay? All right. And another part I love was where he says, look here. He says, yours, only father. Yours, only father, a signature, reverend gentleman, L.C. Adimora. <laughs> oh my gosh, my dad. I love him. Yeah. So I found this since 2005. If you would want me to read this letter, to read the content of this letter, then let me know in the comment section. Um, and then, yeah, I'll read it. Then, um, okay, this is 2010. I'm trying to do it in the order of, okay, and guess again, this one? Of course, I saw this one and said, oh, should I, should I not? But of course, I am a single parent, so it concerns this content. Okay, so I came across stash this in, the stash, come on. This happens to be um, ultrasound results of my first daughter. Yeah, Unique Milka, Queen Milka. This was my first, I had her in July. This was my first scan that I did and the date was um, 10th of January 2011. That was when I went to do my first scan, you can see it. And it was about, I was about 13 weeks. Um, yeah, that was the gestational age, 13 weeks. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, another interesting thing. The EDD was stated for the 28th of July of 2011. That was the first one. And the next one came in February, February 17, 2011, as you can see that, right? And um, I was about 18 weeks pregnant. I believe you can see that, right? Okay, so um, yeah, I did that then. Of course, the picture from the scan. So this next one was in March. This is March 12th. 2011 March 12 2011 and I was um, 22 weeks pregnant here <laughs> then I have another one in April okay so this is April 
12 to 2011, I have another one and I was 27 weeks pregnant. The truth is, I kept going every month for it. Not that it's harmful, although some people carry that perception that scanning every other month is harmful to the child. It can't be, of course, not with this current technology we have. So I enjoy doing it to make sure that my baby was in check, was okay, wasn't going to develop any ailments whatsoever. And that was why I was always checking. Then um, another thing, actually, two days to my delivery date or to the day my water broke, I actually did another scan. That is how crazy I was about scan. I really wanted to make sure that my baby was okay. Did I have any reason why she shouldn't be okay? Yes, I did. I actually did, but I'm glad she turned out okay, beautiful, and is growing by the day. Her birthday is around the corner anyways. Okay, so another one that's quite interesting is, <laughs> you see the title, My Personality Traits. And this was um, first outlined in 2007 and edited in 2008. I mean, I have advanced past some of the things written here. I'm not a greedy person, okay? I am superstitious, yes. I'm a motivator, yes. I am manipulative, hmm. I'm not sure. I'm not sure I'm manipulative, but maybe I could be, but in a soft way, in a very subtle way, okay? Um, independence, oh yes, very independent. Courageous, of course, ask my friends. Um, quarrelsome, oh. <laughs> okay, the truth is, yes, I am a quarrelsome person. I always like to look for the trouble, um, but mostly when I need attention, okay? Impulsive, yes, very impulsive. Rash, um, I think I've improved. I think I've actually improved. Impatient, oh my God, I was an impatient person. In all honesty, I was. But currently, I am very, very, very learning on my patience. Honestly, learning on my patience. An explorer, oh my God, yes. But one thing I confirmed here is the sanguine aspect, sanguine phlegmatic, hey, no, 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 I'm not phlegmatic in any way. I actually did a check sometime last year. Um, and even this year, I also did answer those questions um, from the book, Why You Act the Way You Do. Yes, I did use his um, list of survey and answered some of the questions and I turned out to be choleric san. Okay, so that's my trait. I'm not even a primary sanguine. My primary trait is choleric because I like to work, I like to keep busy at all times. I don't like to not be doing something or not be found doing something. So I best fit perfectly as a union leader, an independent entrepreneur, which is basically what I'm into these days. Um, motivational speaker, adventurist, oh, oh, so yes. So in this nutshell, you've known a bit about me. Of course, some of these things here are not true anymore. Okay, so this was way back then. Then I came across, <laughs> Did you know I used to rap? Yeah, I used to, I used to. <laughs> well, this was the only rap song I actually did get written by my friend. He actually wrote this song for me and wanted me to feature in the song with him, um, but it never happened. But hey, JSB, show your face. We need to do this song. We need to do it in my lifetime. <laughs> It'll be so nice doing it. I mean, I'm sure you will buy it, right? When you see it, you will buy it. Come on, you're wonderful people. Okay, I got another letter that came from a friend of mine. Oh my God, may God bless your heart wherever you are. I call him, um, he was called Sphinx. Sphinx, that's what we called him back then at school. So um, yeah, he wrote me a note. It was one of those days I was feeling rather depressed and um, I had, you know, read out my lamentations to him and said all whatnot and, you know, just cried out no, 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 no. Or maybe i didn't cry or maybe i cried i don't know oh let's see the letter it says hey i knew you were going to find this someday i just wanted to say that you're industrious and nice fun to be with when you were crying so yeah i actually did cry okay i wonder how much crying did cry <laughs> it seemed as if you were dissatisfied with your current state of life some of us have almost everything and wish we didn't. Life is full of so many surprises and you have to expect one each passing day. Give yourself rest so as not to break down. And SIBD is a terrible psychological state, so don't stress yourself so much. Hmm. You know, I had wanted to date you once, but I'll be better off your brother than a partner, okay? Thank you, Finks. Thank you for seeing me in that light. Thank you for seeing me, you know, as a dateable um, personality. <laughs> okay, 
This means that you ain't alone. Don't cry. Too much tears. Even real brothers often run out of tears. Read your Bible daily and have fun reading it. Think happy thoughts and live life as if it is nothing. Learn permanently and fast. And look before you even think about leaping. Thanks. Thank you so much. I think I really need to recall him on this letter. So that he'll come do what brothers do. Right? <laughs> okay. So I also saved up a calendar page of where I did appear. Okay, so this was an event I have always volunteered at. God bless you, Sister Nike. God bless you. So I appeared in April, May of 2010's calendar. So that's me right there. You can see me. So it was when we were doing, so we, we, we were called the Onga Girls. So you can see I was putting on the Onga clothing, right? Yeah. And um, yeah, also we, we had the Onga winner. So we had to hand over. Sister Nike, thank you so much for involving me in things like this. I'm still available. Yeah. Okay. So I also came across, so I've got business ideas. I've got radio um, because I was doing radio at the time. So I had some content ideas for radio, but as it is now, thank God I'm doing YouTube. I can actually turn those. And right now the audience is where? On YouTube, the audience are on social media. So I think I might now have the opportunity or I already have the opportunity to transforming most of these ideas on social media directly and get my contact. So I'm happy I actually dispatched these thoughts um, for this long. I'm very grateful. Okay, I saw this, I wrote it, and this was one time when I, oh, or some, when I became a parent, so I came across this and had to write it out just to remind me. I think I need to keep it close by now so that I get reminded by it. Beatitudes for parents. So you might want to check it out, okay? You might want to Google it. Um, it was written over 45 years ago by Marion E. Kinneman, all right, Kinneman when her daughters were raising her six grandsons so google it you'll see it there you can take it if you need it the attitudes for parents so not just single parents need this um um couple parents need it too okay and i need to keep this close actually okay so <clears throat> who says now see how brown this paper is this is this has been that long okay so who says i do not have a morning routine i do I do take a look that is my morning routine I used to do this and see starting your day by spirit morning meditations which is what I do currently now um, yoga savasanas and bidalasanas I do them too every morning and night so I'm still on point the only thing I really don't do is the coffee or tea you know with a book but of course I always have my book and right now I've got books online I, I have some reading apps that I use and positive thinking affirmations which is what i do so i had my morning routine before now i'm also going to keep this close so that i can always remind myself by it wherever i go and yes i had prayers i always did read out or affirm as you can see different prayers you have prayer for decept from deception prayer from dangerous misjudgments <clears throat> protection from powerful pull that feels right when wrong you can see that right and then we have the, oh, the Jabez prayer. I say the prayer of Jabez all the time. I say it every day. And I have also passed it on. My children also say it. So whenever we have our <clears throat> morning devotions or our morning time, whenever we get to pray, we always include the prayer of Jabez. And they've learned it and they're really going with it. Okay, so I also have, how many of you have actually watched The Secret or read the book The Secret by Rhonda Bryan? So yeah, I got really blessed by the book when I did read it, um, came, when I did come across it in 2000, sometime in 2007 and then 2008, I saw it again because it's something you want to watch all the time. Okay, so online, you can actually find it. There is a check, okay? You have the format of the check. So, and this says Universal Bank Unlimited. You can see that? Universal Bank Unlimited, okay? So it's supposed to pay you. Now you use this for your law of attraction. You use this, you keep it at the point where you can always see it. And um, you, you, you call this, you call whatever you want, whatever figure you put there. So I had to make copies of this. And I came across the fact that I did something like that. Okay, so this one was the first one I actually did try. 
this was um 2009 you can see the dates right there october uh 16th october 2009 so i actually did write well of course at your level you would always want to and then at the same time while you're fixing or trying to set um um, attraction or attract something yeah actually it's best to dream bigger but at the same time you want to do uh, make realistic dreams of course you're aware of the smart um, rule the smart rule so realistic is part of it so when you're setting goals you should be able to set achievable smart goals and for this particular time I needed this particular amount at that time obviously for a need that was to come and yeah, I signed there, asked the universe to pay me. And guess what? Here. Did you see that? Received an idea on 28th of October. Now this was 16th of October. And by the 28th of October, I received an idea to involve in a business called Forever Living. Okay? That way I can make more money. That was my 50,000 Naira worth of idea so this brings me to the point i want to make today sometimes when you envisage to have something come your way don't just look out or look out for it in one way in one particular way oh it has to come oh i need fifty thousand it has to be fifty thousand naira it has to be fifty thousand dollars no 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 try and keep your heart open because it could be fifty thousand ideas it could be fifty thousand um you know it could be even more than that 50,000, but it will come. It will come to you. It will come in form of people. It will come in form of things. It will come in form of materials. You need to just be attentive to it, okay? So yeah, I did get my 50,000. I did register and um, it was exactly two weeks, okay? And I signed it. So this motivated me to do another one. Now, did you see that date? That's 30th of October. When I did completes to sign this one then i just opened up another check for the universe to pay me and this time around how much did i put there one thousand dollars only okay one thousand dollars only and at this time look the figure that was one hundred and fifty thousand naira and i'm sure that was a time when um naira to dollar was just 150 naira not now when it's almost about 400 so yeah i did make this affirmation uh make this and put it in focus and guess what did i get paid yes the universe always pays you sometimes it could be sooner you manifest it sooner sometimes it could take a while but hey see i had signed it the dates yeah because of course when you open this up you have to sign it okay you sign the day and then when you when it manifests you come back to it so see one thousand dollars collected by me see the date yeah that's it 10th of 1st 2010 how many months did it take it, i tried i did what was achievable and then afterwards i made this um barely three months of course it could have been more than that but when i did think about it i was still a student at this time because i was almost rounding up with my um BSc. So at that time I wasn't working. So imagine making 150,000 when I'm not working, when I'm um, putting myself through school, of course, it was something worth writing about. Okay. okay so look at these dates. Oh, let, me, let me do it this way. What you see. Oops. Okay. Oh my gosh. It's showing. Okay. I'm just going to do it anyways. So that date there is March 10th of 2007 and you can see the name of the newspaper so this is a newspaper and i turned up as the <laughs> oh my god now you know my age anyways doesn't matter doesn't matter so this i turned up as the um mirror girl for this page this was like yeah page through oh this was actually page seven i turned up as the mirror girl and yes i did get calls i did get a lot of attention at the time and um it was through this i eventually met my mentor the man who has made life uh, and given my life a bit of direction thanks to you prof i really really appreciate you thank you for coming into my life thank you and then again apparently the newspaper editor must have loved me so well and then he gave me another chance to come again to grace the page it's on friday july the 13th 2007 i appear again and this time i think this was page three 
Oh no, it's not actually page three. This was page 13. So from page seven, I went on page 13. But the most important thing is I turned up twice. Yeah, 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 twice. And it felt so good. It does feel so good. I mean, I should make a billboard out of this. The smile is still the same, right? <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, yeah, it's so exciting, so interesting, so wonderful. All right, so another one that really, really did get me, and I have actually kept it for the last, is this one, because it actually goes way back. It's actually the oldest thing, I believe, that I have on my person, and I carry it along with so much love, and that is introducing, drum roll. Ta-da! <laughs> yes. This is Mr. Penguin. Okay, so you ask me why this is very important. This is very important because it was given to me by my school daughter um, in December, yeah, Christmas of 2003. And that was the year I graduated from secondary school. So she visited me with a hamper and this was included in it. A lot of goodies in that hamper. But above all, of course, I've eaten all of the other things on that in that hamper that came in that hamper. But this is the only surviving thing from that hamper. Now, it, meant, yeah, it does mean so much to me because it was given to me by Sandra. Sandra Osamo. I love you, sweetie. Thank you so much. I still cherish it. And I also use this to remember you by. Okay? Mwah. I love you. Okay? I love you so much. And I wish you the best in all of your endeavors. So this channel has actually um, given me a, the opportunity to... Or rather... Um, Today's video has actually given me the opportunity to reach out to a lot of people, a couple of people who have really um, impacted on my life one way or the other. But I also want to make you understand in rounding up this that sometimes your answers are right in front of you. You just need to see these things. And at the same time, or also take notes, always note down what is happening as it happens. It's also called journaling. Always journal. If I hadn't journaled, if I hadn't um, taken notes of some of these things, it might have been thrown away long ago. But because they're important to me, they're, they're things that are that are from my person. Some of these things are ideas, my creative ideas that have come forth. And I just always write them. Even if it's not going to happen at that moment, just take it down. Take note of it. Okay? You want to just take note of it because it will happen. And guess what? Now, with some of these content ideas I had written some 10 years ago, I even have some I had written in 2003 while I was in secondary school. So I have these ideas now and right now I'm beginning to manifest it. It might take long. It might be short. You never can tell because one way or the other, you might meet the people, the right people who would help you to achieve that thing that you've written down. So be on the lookout for the opportunities, be on the lookout for the ideas, because in all honesty, the ideas will come first before the money. The people will come next. Once the ideas come, the people will come. But for some people, the people come and then the ideas come. But whatever the case might be, always write down things. As the idea comes, always write down. One thing I always go with wherever I find myself is a pen. I don't like a pen. Or I ensure that my phone is fully charged so that I can take down notes. Okay, I hope that this um, um, video today for you, I hope you found it motivating. I hope you found it um, encouraging one way or the other to let you know that the universe is there for you, but you need to take advantage of um, everything that she offers to you. Okay, so this has been... Um, this has been my journey. Uh, this is like over 10 years. Yeah, some of this stuff are over 10 years. So, and I've had them on me. Like this one. This one is almost 20 years now. And it's still with me. And my children love it. Yeah, I wash it all the time. And I keep it close to me. All right. Thank you so much for being here with me all this while. Thank you for enjoying it. Thank you. And namaste. Love and light. I love you.